So it seems that the left are getting exactly what they voted for, which isn't actually what they thought they voted for, but what we knew they would get. So two-tier Kia, uh, taking away fuel allowances for old people and stuff like that, and putting everybody but the British people first, has actually started to piss off the woke left because the problem with the woke left is they're all about the freebies. Everybody has to pay for them. They have to have everything for nothing and more of it, please. And somebody else has to pick up the bill. Well, you reap what you sow is a saying that unfortunately fits well in this particular case. Now, we all knew that two tier Kia and moreover the Labour Party were gonna shit all over the people that voted for them because they don't know how to do anything else. And Labour is, and has always been, a great way of spending everybody else's money without working out exactly how they're going to pay for it. Although the car taxation thing, that would be interesting to see how that one works. Now, if it was actually put together fairly, then maybe we won't have anything to whinge about. But really, the reality is this, that they never change anything unless they make more money out of it. So I'm not holding my breath on that one. But there were people like me that hope that Labour would get in, and there's a reason for this. The left are now waking up. And these are the people we want to wake up because you lot are already awake. You already know what's going on. Yeah, it's a bit like preaching to the choir a little bit. Now, we it's very easy to fall into the trap of all lefties are wankers and all the rest of it, they're not, all right? A lot of them are just people that are misinformed, misguided, you know, vote with their heart rather than their head and all this kind of business, right? But these were the people that we wanted to wake up and the acceleration point, or the point of accelerationism, is just that. That when things happen that quickly, that the people that you're trying to get the attention of will actually wake up. God, I got itchy nose today. So this is what's happening and this is what we want. Um, so it's not all bad. This is the point of the video, right? That the fact that two-tier Kia and the rest of his Stalinite wankers, right, are going to fuck over the country. Conservative would have fucked the country over anyway, all right? And anybody who actually stood a chance to get in, which is usually the only two, because not even liberals have a chance, right? But all of them were going to do what the people above them, their paymasters, you know, the people that direct them, were going to do. They were never going to do it in your or my favour, right? But Labour would do it quicker than Conservative. So this is waking people up. And the more these people wake up, and I don't know if you've noticed now, that people are talking like we were three years ago now. So they're catching on. And the more the people catch on, the more people will end up uniting under the, hang on a second, we've got a tyrannical government which doesn't act in its um, countries and its people's best interest. When they all wake up then, and the thing is about the left, you've got to hand it to them, right? They can get organized. They can put on protests. They can put on demonstrations. They can, they can affect things much better than the right seem to be able to. They're very much the organizers. They're very much the, the people who know how to put on an event or know how to do stuff like that. The people on the right just don't seem to be able to do it as well as they do. So if you've got the left waking up and the left start to come out and protest or other things that the left might come up with that we haven't thought about, all the better. But the point of this is that the left-right dichotomy will fade away more as the, the left start to get shit on by the people that they voted, the people that they thought were going to be wonderful, the saviors and all the rest of it. When they wake up and realise that actually they've been played, they'll be the most bitter and twisted group of individuals going. And we may even have to hold them back, but probably not. I can't wait for it to happen and this massive left-right dichotomy to kind of fade away because the system itself has made it so. The system has played both sides because you give them bread and circuses and you also turn them on each other and all the time they're fighting each other, they're not touching you. But when the people start to unite, which they will do anyway, then the government will have a massive problem on its hands. It's at that point that there will probably be more draconian and bring about more laws and stuff to fit us up and that will unite people even more and in the end it'll come to a critical mass what happens at that point who knows i can't predict the future but it, i don't think it's going to work out too well for the powers of be because let's be honest there are only a few and we are the many so it will be interesting 
Now, some of you may have noticed that I have not done any videos lately. Uh, new job, been learning the new job, and I've actually been out in the tools and working, so I couldn't. But I've now settled in enough, I know what I'm doing, that yeah, I, I might be able to put out some more videos, so that's, that's useful. And the job's good, and everything's good, and I'm still alive. I've actually managed to ride that bike. They sold me the bike without the green slip, right? Um, they gave me a photocopy of the old one, but it's not the last document, so I haven't been able to tax it. So I went down the post office uh, to um, register it and tax it, and they said we can't register it. Uh, so I had to go on the DVLA, and it's still registered to somebody else, and they haven't changed that over, so they've got to write to them, and uh, that could take two weeks for them to reply, then after they got put their things in motion to put it in my name. So effectively, I might not actually have been able to ride that bike for certainly six weeks, possibly more, which is fucking annoying at best. However, all the time I'm uh, riding on the band, I'm get, uh, getting um, skills, although I've been on my mates bikes. Um, and I had got a little bit more practice, if you know what I mean, but I can't talk about that for legal reasons. Anyway, so I hope you're all doing well. Um, and I actually went on a date Saturday night. That's quite a funny story, and I'll tell you at another day. At another day, um, <laughs> I just said I'd go over and meet this lady who who owns her own pub. And she said, "Yeah, come over and you know, don't think it'll be too busy tonight." Poor woman was rushed right off her feet. She had a family pitch in. I was offering to do the dishwasher, and uh, she kept plying me with alcohol. So. By 11 o'clock that night, I said, love, I'm knackered, I'll go to bed. So, gonna meet this week, I think. But, um, <laughs> yeah, trust me to organize it like that. But anyway, she's a nice girl, she's one of us. Um, didn't take the uh, medical intervention. Uh, a very good head on her shoulders. Very organized, very motivated, very tall. But yeah, so there it is. Anyway, I'm gonna get off, get back to work, and, um, Hopefully do a bit more, and I'll see you all in a bit.